United States and its allies considering new military assistance for Ukraine and more sanctions on Russia after more evidence services of possible war crimes. WGN's Jenna Barnes is joining us tonight with more on that. Jenna? Yeah, we expect to learn more about the sanctions portion of this tomorrow. Tonight, the Biden administration is announcing another $100 million in security assistance for Ukraine, specifically anti-armor Javelin missiles, as the pictures of the atrocities against civilians there becomes even clearer. Ukrainians in the city of Lviv lit candles Tuesday night, gathering to honor the civilians killed by Russian troops. Ukrainian officials say the bodies of at least 410 civilians have been found in towns near Kyiv retaken from Russian forces. We want just to pray for their soul and uh, at the same time we want to pray for Ukraine. As Russian soldiers retreated to regroup, they left behind the gruesome evidence of civilian massacres in towns like Bucha. It's horrible. You see, it's just six bodies here, and uh, that house, uh, you can see maybe three, and that house, it's maybe one body. It's shot, they, uh, they was shot. Uh, and burn after it. A day after visiting yeah, Bucha, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky detailed the atrocities to the UN Security Council. They cut off uh, uh, limbs, cut their throats, slashed their throats. Women were raped and killed in front of their children. They he likened Russia's actions to ISIS and called out the council for being ineffective at stopping their aggression. Russia is a permanent member of the Security Council. Either remove Russia as an aggressor and a source of war, or if there is no alternative and no option, then the next option would be dissolve yourself altogether. At that meeting, Russia's ambassador to the UN called the events in Bucha staged and accused the West of fueling anti-Russian hysteria. It's a deliberate campaign uh, to kill, to torture, uh, to rape, uh, to commit atrocities. Uh, the reports are more than credible. The evidence is there for the uh, the world to see. The U.S. and its allies are preparing to announce new sanctions against Russian politicians and their families Wednesday. As Zelensky warns, the horror won't stop at Bucha. But the world has yet to see what they have done in other occupied cities and regions of our country. Zelensky is calling for those responsible for killing civilians to be brought up on war crimes charges immediately in front of a tribunal. Secretary Blinken says the U.S. is documenting the crimes, compiling the evidence to hold Russia accountable, but he says that will have to play out over time. Guys. All right, Jenna, thank you. And as the fighting continues, millions of families are in desperate need of help. And to that cause, WGN and the Illinois Broadcasters Association are coming together to support UNICEF. And you can help, too, by going to the website that's on your screen, unicefusa.org slash Illinois.